Hey guys, uh, just wanted to let you know, we don't have a passion in photography. You gotta tell the audience or your customers that you guys are passionate about, yeah. Okay, first off, we don't sell. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. I did sell a Leica M6, a Nikon D200, or a Nikon FM2. I sold three cameras total throughout my whole... Uh... And you know what? We're not really into photography as well. Well, you see, this is my first real camera. This is a Nikon F801S. I got this in the early 90s. But the thing is, I didn't use it a lot. I, I wasn't really into it because I was, well, I guess like I was busy getting drunk and all. Well, after college, just like any Joe Blow, I got a job. Okay, until year 2000. I got to know some people, they were into the financial business. And during that time, it was looking very promising. And I mean, the bottom line is, it didn't go through, or else I wouldn't be here. I was pissed off. Uh, well, actually, I don't remember what happened exactly. So it was quick money, it was fast money, and I had a lot of free time. So what happened was, I started traveling around. I was really into uh, scuba diving, wakeboarding. I was really into, well, traveling in general. But still, I wasn't really into photography. Yeah, I mean, maybe I would bring a camera or two. You know, I couldn't be bothered to take any picture. The first camera, this D70 by, again, Nikon. Well, this D70 has been converted to uh, full IR. Not sure whether it's still working or not. Well, this is my first proper digital camera, so there's no way I'm going to sell it. This is a D80. It belongs to Carmen. <laughs> proper digital camera. And guess what? It's through photography that I met common so yeah we're not passionate about photography but because of photography we so where as time goes by um, do a d2 200 and then a d3 then this is a d8 d800 I'm not too crazy about this camera I'm not I think d3 it's probably one of the best camera that I've ever used but that that, that guy is bulky okay I was really into buying lenses I would get lens or two like almost every month uh, they were all Nikon yeah it's uh, it's yeah it's kind of silly if you look back as time goes by I got bored with the uh, digital camera so I started looking at the film well okay this is the first Leica that I got this is a Leica MP yeah I, I was really into Again, not photography, but buying Leica cameras and lenses. Uh, I got, oh, I bought the M6 as well. And, but the thing is, I got rid of it because it, it felt too light. You know, it doesn't really feel like a Leica. Yeah, you know, anyway, um, then I got this guy here. Uh, this is MP, which I've never used before. Uh, yeah, it's kind of silly. Um, then the M3 then obviously you have to get an M8 because this is a, the first digital Leica I'm not really crazy about it but still I got bored with uh, Leica as well because it's a rangefinder so things are somewhat limited in terms of uh, the, the, the lens choices um, so I decided to go back to film cameras I got another FM2 I, you know I don't use this anymore but I will not be selling it because what is the point? I might use it again like 10 years down the road. <laughs> I don't know. Time, I, I was going pretty crazy with, uh, with uh, film cameras. Um, I got, I got the, the, well, I mean, the Hasselblad. I'm not too crazy about it. The, I prefer the, the Roly. It's actually quieter than a Leica. Uh, I don't know. Well, I would say X-Pen, it's, it's a must-buy. It's a must-buy. 
but yeah, I'm repeating myself. As time goes by, I've got the, the GX uh, 617, you know, gradually move on to the 4x5, 8x10, the pinhole, etc, etc. I figure um, 135 is just way too small, you know, go straight to uh, 4x5 at least. Um, I'm not too crazy about the 120 format because it's stuck in a limbo, like it's not as convenient as a 135, but at the same time it's not as big as a 4x5. But anyway, I started playing around with develop, developing, you know, uh, doing the processing and all that. Um, but I stopped. And the reason being, it's um, okay. It's not so much with uh, developing the film, but more like scanning the film. Uh, I was using a V seven hundred. I had I I had a lot of problems, and I also have the Nikon uh, five thousand ED, the one thirty five scanner. Yeah, yeah. I I have so much problem with scanning the eight by ten sheet. Yeah. Uh, monochrome. This is a first generation CCD, not the CMOS. And this guy here is the reason why I stopped using film. Well, it takes really nice black and white. That's that. Mm, it does coupling, so that's good. Yeah, the biggest advantage I would say is uh, you can play around with the ISO. It's not that I don't want those uh, 1.0, 1 1.2. It'd be nice to have them, but for a rangefinder, I would keep everything nice and compact. So I, I really like these um, old lenses. This one is a somewhere around 3.5. And I like it because it's nice and small. I just keep everything small, nice and easy. That's it, you know, do the zone focusing, snap, 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 and that's that. Well, the biggest advantage of a digital camera is doing the panning shots. I mean, regardless of how good you are, you will still get a pretty high percentage of failure rate. So in other words, with a digital camera, you can see the outcome immediately and do the adjustment accordingly. So how I see it, shoot film, shoot digital as well. Well, yeah, well, look at it. I have two Sumerons. You can see how much I like this lens. This is like an SL. It's convenient for me, you know, it, you know, this is a good hybrid camera. GH4, it's excellent. It's an excellent video um, camera, but for the Leica SL, it's more all-rounded. I, I don't use the GH4 for still shots. I'm not too crazy about it. It looks too artificial. It's, it's, yeah. So I'm not really too crazy about autofocus, regardless of how fast it is. I still prefer the many focus. It's more satisfying. <laughs> yeah, this is a good hybrid camera for me. I mean, the reason why I like the GH4, it's, you know, I've got, I've been using a Panasonic since the GH1 when it first came out. Not the still shot, but for video, uh, especially using those uh, tiny little, um, C-mount lenses. Does it have a battery? No, it doesn't have a battery. I don't even know where it is. I am interested in getting the GH5, but instead I've got the, um, the Blackmagic 4K. I don't know where it is right now. It's... We've got the, uh, the Nikon 28Ti as well as the 35Ti. Good camera, but slightly too noisy for me. I prefer the Minox, but then again, my Minox is being repaired right now. Do so you have to go and pick it up? Yeah, but the rest, I'm done. I'm not. I'm through with the large format photography. It's either video or um, the Minox or the X-Band or the. So right now, I'm using the Leica Monochrome, the SL, um, the GH4, and the Black Magic 4K. It, it's kind of cool. Uh, the Black Magic is you know, it just recently launched a new. Black Magic Pocket Cinema 6K. Wow, and I'm kind of jealous. Not that I need it. I mean, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how to operate the darn thing uh, efficiently. Yeah, it's... Well, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, yeah.